Stop scrolling. If you are preparing for CUT PG economics, listen carefully to me. Because 90% of the students don't even know the real exam pattern. And that's why they score 120 when they could have scored 240. Let me break down the CUT PG economics pattern in the most simple and accurate way. Forget random Google articles. This is exact structure you will face on the day of exam. The CUT PG economics paper is one paper, 75 questions, 4 marks each, total 300 marks. And the best part, no sectional cutoff. That means you don't have to score equally in every section. If you're strong in micro and macro, you can literally compensate for weak areas like maths and stats. Now the most important thing, the paper is not divided into sections inside the exam, but the questions come in six to seven clusters every year. There will be a cluster of questions of microeconomics, macroeconomics, stats and probability, maths for economics, Indian economy, development economics, international economics, and econometrics. But the weight is just not equal. Micro, macro, math stats is about 55% to 60% of the entire paper. Indian economy and development is 20 to 25% of the paper, and international and econometrics is the remaining question. Questions are not tough, they are confusing. CUT will ask you very straightforward concept, but with very tricky framing. Example, two statements may look correct, but one word in that statement will be wrong. There will be graph-based microeconomics question without actually giving you the graph. Econometrics questions will check if you know the assumptions well. Maths questions where 80% of the students lose their marks is because they forget the actual formula. So the real challenge is precision, not knowledge. If we divide it in difficulty level, 20% questions are super easy. 50% questions are moderate and 30% questions are tricky. So what should be your strategy? Secure 55 to 60 easy to moderate questions first. That gives you 220 to 240 marks. There is negative marking. Four for every correct answer and one for every wrong answer. But the time is not your enemy. You're getting enough time to do it. The real problem is overthinking. Most students marks uh, mark correct answers and then change them and due to this they lose 10 to 12 marks pattern is simple 75 questions high weightage on micro macro math stats no sectional cutoff accuracy matters then speed and pyq repeat like crazy